I am dropping Fantasies, which is the leading single off of my EP that's coming out. And I just wanted to give you guys a backstory of Fantasies so when you see the video, you can get a headspace for where my mind was at. So I wrote the song after a dope photo shoot, my first professional <laughs> photo shoot with uh, the amazing photographer M Mosey. And he did such a phenomenal job with helping me tap into my feminine energy, my sexuality, like my sexiness. And I was feeling myself after that shoot. <laughs> and even more after I got the pictures back. And that led me to write fantasy, which is kind of about um, alluring someone in and finding that like pizzazz in that person. There's something that is embedded in every one of us that attracts other people to us. So, if you guys already know, I'm originally from Liberia, west coast of Africa. And growing up, we heard tales of Mami Wata, which is our version of the mermaid. <laughs> and I love Greek mythology. And the sirens have always been my favorite like characters when I used to um, read and watch, uh, I think it was the Odyssey. So I really love Greek mythology and I kind of wanted to merge both of that sensuality that the women represented in those stories into my music video along with <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> However, in fantasies, it starts off with these guys being invited to a party and being lured into this beautiful home. Shout out to Karen at Spectacular Garden. I pretty much dreamed and daydream about that location <laughs> because it's, it was just so beautiful and enchanting and it kind of set the tune for the entire um, video without me having to go from this location to capture a certain vibe. So it was like a one-stop <laughs> area for us. So yes, it starts with the guys being lured into this beautiful place um, by my co-stars Sammy and Naya. Shout out to Naya, she's a dope dancer. I met her through another uh, dancer and a shout out to Sandra Entertainment because um, I've worked with them before and the dancers are so talented and it was just a dope experience so I had the opportunity to work with them again. Anywho, so those are my co-stars. They lure the guys into the palace, into the home. And it goes to them all, you know, th this is where the sleep sleeping beauty part comes in. They find me sleeping and they all have to take turn kissing me. And the most powerful kiss awakens the beast in me. <laughs> so it leads to me waking up and finding the guys and kind of hypnotizing them and seducing them. The main scenes is shot by the water. Um, again, I love the water and the sense of mermaids or uh, Mami Wata sirens because those are sensual, sexy women. They are seductive, but also dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous if you are into those stories. So it goes to me dancing with the guys and seducing them per se in a chant and it goes towards the end of me killing <laughs> one of the guys and the reason why I ended it that way apart from the regular Sleeping Beauty is because um, lust is such a powerful thing. Lust and love go hand in hand and I kind of just wanted like a dark ending to this video rather than like the corny like she wakes up and fall in love with this handsome guy. I wanted to portray it as the curse never being broken and that it was a trap the whole time that whoever wakens up this goddess will then fall to death because the curse doesn't break. It just passes on to whoever had the most powerful kiss. It's kind of dark, <laughs> like I said. I really just wanted to showcase my creative artistry as an artist. Um, there's some choreography in there as well. This is 
by far one of my favorite projects because I pushed myself beyond what I thought I was capable of doing and putting this whole thing together. And shout out to Arizona Trophy Models because um, I got to work with Darian, Keys, and Jordan and they were extremely professional dudes. They don't know this. <laughs> I got sad the last day of rehearsal because I was like, it was such a good moment and working with them, I realized like this shit is my passion. I love it. I love every minute from the beginning to the end. Yeah, so it was a dope experience working with those guys, especially Darian. Um, he kind of took on the role of being my whole creative director. I presented to him my idea of the video and he just took it and ran with it and he respected my craft and was super professional and I really admire that. And shout out to Mosey for recording this video. <laughs> he is super super talented when it comes to photography not just like clicking but like the first time i worked with him he was telling me like how to pose what angles to do and it lives forever in my head when i take pictures now and i just wanted him to know what he was walking into with a um, serious project and i wanted him to be impressed <laughs> because he is very intimidating <laughs> So I wanted him to like see like, okay, Gia is about her shit, she's serious. And I think in the end he took me serious and just the whole project turned out to be dope. Shout out to Ashanti for doing my nails. They're a little busted right now on you guys because you know I don't like doing my nails. <laughs> but she did a really dope job doing my nails for this project. And shout out to the headdress queen for providing that beautiful headpiece that you guys are gonna see in that video. Again, I really wanna thank everybody for being a part of this project and taking my craft seriously and helping me put together such a dope video. And I hope you viewers enjoy this project as much as I did putting it together. And if you like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe, follow, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, again, I will be dropping an EP soon. Um, unfortunately, I lost my best friend while putting this whole project and other stuff together. So a lot of things I wanted to do and needed to do had to be put on hold and pushed back like dramatically than I thought it would. So um, I originally was gonna drop it in September, but right now I'm just letting the universe guide me and <laughs> y'all gonna get it when y'all get it. So I think maybe I'm hoping for November now. That's my goal. <gasps> November. But yeah, um, thanks for toning in, you guys. Deuces.